I wanted to know how much, when you are writing, how much do you put of yourselves, not just, let's say, I'm a Latin person and this experience, I'm writing it down, but your own interpretation of what that means is not just, a, I mean, I'm pretty white, but I happen to be Puerto Rican. I've been told that I'm not Puerto Rican because I'm white, even though I was born there. So is being a Latin person is more than just being born from a country, speak a certain language. It's also an experience. I mean, I like pasteles. If you're from Puerto Rican, you know what that is. And people experience cultures differently, but you also, if you are from a culture, you also experience it from your own point of view. And I want to know is how you experience your culture as you're writing it down and how much you put off yourselves in your writing. Pablo, you want to say something? Um, la escritura siempre es un, digamos, es un trabajo que consiste en equilibrar el, el mundo de la experiencia y el mundo de la imaginación. Writing is a balancing act between the world of imagination and the world of experience. Um, creo que cuando, cuando, los, digamos, cuando uno comienza a escribir, uno tiende a, a, a poner todo, toda su experiencia entre paréntesis porque no la tiene y a escribir solo con la imaginación. Cuando eres el primer time writer, you tend to put more of uh, the imagination o the other way around. The, the, the sí, de um, la experiencia. De la experiencia. Experience. It feels more comfortable, more. more, more proximate to you, something more, you feel more comfortable there, right? Pero creo que solamente se, se llega a escribir algo verdadero cuando uno encuentra el, el, el punto donde experiencia e imaginación eh, pueden unirse, ¿no? But I think one really starts writing something truthful and meaningful when eh, he or she reaches that point where experience and imagination converges. Thank you. Thank you. One question. Hello. Um, I noticed that two of the writers have books which are detective stories, which I find extremely interesting because, again, one doesn't normally think of a detective story, um, you know, being part of magical realism or part of a South American tradition. I'd like. I'd be very interested to know where you got the the connection to the idea of a, maybe a European detective writer, like a French, you know, like Simeon, or an English one, you know, like for instance, in, I know that in Argentina, the, the stories of Ache Bustos Domecq, alias you know who, wrote great detective stories. Now, is this um, kind of <coughs> coming from, from that school, or is it a European school? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, my experience um, c comes from from my, the years I spent in, in Cuba uh, originally, and during the 70s when I was at the Havana University, and I started to read some Cuban out authors who started to write novels about spying, which was very interesting because until that time, all what I had read were American or English, uh, British authors uh, writing about uh, the relations between East and West. So I knew, I knew exactly who were the heroes and normally communists were the, the enemies. When I lived in Cuba, I realized that the, it was supported by the government, of course, but they were transforming this point of view of who was, who were the heroes on that novels, and who was the enemy. So suddenly I had communists were the heroes of these novels, and, and, and American CIA agents were the, the enemies. Uh, so this change of, uh, uh, this change um, in the hero and the enemy, and uh, protagonist and antagonist, was for me very interesting in terms of asking myself, is it possible then to develop a detective, a Latin American detective novel, uh, which rejects the models which are now um, acting in, in Europe and the United States. And how is it possible to create a Latin American uh, detective who can see, see the world from his point of view and at the same time can rebel against the, 
the codes and against the formulas which are, have been developed during the last 20, 30 years. That was a very interesting, uh, uh, let's say, job to do. And that's, that's the way I, I started to create an, a detective, a character who was Cuban and at the same time was living in Chile. So the, the, the two uh, extreme parts of, of Latin America, the, the Caribbean and the Southern Cone in terms of differences of culture and climate. And, and that's the way I, I formed this detective. I, I am saying that I'm telling that in a very schematic way, by, but to make it short. Interesting to note the problem for identity Please come to the microphone, Prairie. Uh, and that the detective stories can be also a metaphor for the, all these identity problems we're talking about. It's identity, you know, we are all this Cayetano Rules as your character, who is Cuban, uh, Chilean, uh, American, right. European, and we are all part of that. You, you just change the names and put whatever you want into that formula, and we are a compound of many, many beings. 